calculating entropy changes. We can use this equation here to calculate the entropy change in a chemical reaction. So it's change in entropy equals the sum of the absolute entropy of the products minus the sum of the absolute entropy of the reactants. In table 11 of the data booklet, you can find the absolute entropy values of some substances. And as you can see, all the values for absolute entropy are positive values. And the reason for this is a perfectly ordered solid at absolute zero has zero entropy. So all other states which are more disordered have positive entropy values. So when we calculate the change in entropy for a reaction, if the change in entropy is positive, so that's positive delta S, then the reaction has moved towards a state which has a greater degree of disorder. That's an increase in entropy. If delta S, the change in entropy, is negative, then the reaction has moved towards a state which is more ordered. That's a decrease in entropy. So let's try an example. Here we have the hydrogenation of ethene. So ethene reacts with hydrogen in the presence of a nickel catalyst to give ethane. So we can use this equation here to calculate our change in entropy for a reaction. And here we have our absolute entropy values for hydrogen, ethane, and ethene. But before we do the calculation, let's see if we can predict the change in entropy. On the left side of the arrow, we have two moles of gas. And on the right side of the arrow, we have one mole of gas. So already we know we're going to have a decrease in entropy. So let's do the math. The sum of the absolute entropy of the products minus the sum of the absolute entropy of the reactants. So here we have the absolute entropy of ethane minus the absolute entropy of hydrogen plus ethene. And when you do the math, you end up with negative 121 joules per Kelvin mole. So just like we predicted, we have negative entropy. So that's negative delta S. And the reason was the two moles of gas are going to one mole of gas, so that's a decrease in entropy.